Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. So now I want to go ahead and also um, talk about this whole drama that's going on with this submarine situation. <clears throat> Excuse me. So if y'all do not know, there's some rich people that are stuck in a submarine. They went looking for the Titanic. And so they spent 250 grand a pop to go down below to go search for the Titanic. And they've been lost. It's been about 20 hours. Nobody there. They're hearing faint knocking, but they haven't been able to be located. This is really scary. We're gonna watch this news clip. So give me just a second here. We're gonna watch this clip first. There's still no visible sign of the vessel, but there are reports of sounds detected as an expert we spoke to says that window of opportunity is quickly closing. I believe at best we have 25 hours left. Butch Hendrick has performed surface and subsurface water rescues for more than 30 years. Tuesday night, the founder of this New York-based public safety dive training company told Fox 11 he believes the missing submersible is either tangled in the Titanic wreckage. Because the debris that is around the Titanic is so intense. To get entangled is quite easy. Or the 21-foot vessel carrying one pilot and four passengers is the victim of a leak. And very quietly and slowly flooded inside. Hendrick says best case scenario is the sub known as the Titan is entangled. But even then, that comes with its own challenges. It's good news because it would be easier to find. It may not be good news based on the fact that we have to figure out how we would untangle it. As of Tuesday morning, the United States Coast Guard said a total of 10,000 square miles had been searched off the coast of Cape Cod. It's a challenging operation. The submersible lost communication less than two hours into its Sunday journey to the Titanic, about 13,000 feet below. Rolling Stone reporting an aircraft heard banging sounds at 30-minute intervals from the area where the sub disappeared during Tuesday's search but still no sign of the sub. There's truly nothing else like it. Meanwhile, a promotional video produced by submersible operator Ocean Gate touts the Titanic expedition as a once in a lifetime journey. While this clip of the CEO, Stockton Rush, seems to indicate the sub is run by a video game controller. It's basically a Sony PlayStation style controller. Tuesday, Ocean Gate confirmed Rush is the expedition pilot and his passengers include a British billionaire, a French mariner and members of a prominent Pakistani business family. Hendrick believes if the sub is intact, it will run out of oxygen by Wednesday night. It's possible that the 96 hours was never tested. Mm. That nobody ever actually put five people in this submersible. New details tonight on that missing Titanic submersible. Despite a broadened search today, still no visible. Okay, let me come back on the screen. So this entire situation is a mess. And of course, social media is having a field day. A lot of people are laughing about this. Um, the memes are being cranked out. Black Twitter is having a field day with this. But I think the situation is really sad, though. Um, let me see if I can pull up some of the, if I have it. Hold on. Let me, sh let me share my screen real quick. These are just some of the memes on Twitter. So here you have SS Deadass. Did anybody contact them yet? Um, somebody is using Kevin Gates and play that. Like the fucking water. I just said I was fucking praying for for the bitch, I don't own a boat. What you want me to come down there and drink the fucking water? I just said I was fucking praying for, for the So somebody, she said, y'all are cracking jokes with these people probably terrified in the ocean. It's just, it's been so many jokes. Me searching for them people's wallets. My friends come in with me to help me find my man on that submarine since it had a bunch of billionaires on there. 
Uh, rip me out the sub. I survived the Titanic part two. I think that was playing music. So the whole thing is a mess. Now, I will say this. Again, I'm not, you know, I think it's scary. Like, I, you know, the fact that they're running out of oxygen, regardless if they're rich or poor, you know, no poor people could have been even allowed on the boat, but it's still scary. They still pay for an expedition. And anybody paying for an expedition, you're paying for an experience, right? You're paying to go see something that most people would never be able to see, but you have hopes, dreams, and goals of coming back to the surface to brag about it to all your friends and your family. So the fact that they went down there is just extremely disturbing because I keep thinking to the Titanic movie. If y'all remember Titanic came out, I mean, shit, almost like 20 years ago. And the machine that they used to go down to the bottom of the ocean was some type of machine. It had like these little like robotic arms. And the only thing it could do was like flip shit over. Remember, they would like use the joystick and it would flip over a door and they would find something. I'm like, I hope whatever they're using to go find them has more strength than just flipping over a door because I don't understand how the submarine is still stuck down there and what they're going to do to get it to come back up to the surface. I mean, the whole thing is just frightening. And to know that you only have so much oxygen down there, there's no way for you to come up. It's just, it's really scary. Another thing too, is that we've talked about this before. Only 5% of the ocean has even been discovered, right? There's so many things underneath the sea that we will never ever know what lurks down there because it's too deep to go all the way down to the bottom of the ocean. Um, a lot of people, if you really do research on UFOs and aliens and extraterrestrial things, we've talked about this on Discord and deep dives. <clears throat> a lot of people say that space um, is not where the aliens live. They don't live in outer space. Where the aliens live is underwater they, because that's where it's undiscovered. Um, and like I've told you guys before, the internet cables. All the internet cables are ran in the ocean. They're ran in the water. They're not up in the sky. So it might be some, you know, electromagnetic shit too that's forcing them down there, you know, and maybe even the spirits of the people on the Titanic. I mean, I don't know, but it, it seems like it could be something deeper as to like why they're just stuck and they're not able to come back up. You know, maybe it's alien technology down there. And it has some type of force field on this submarine. I don't know, y'all. I'm just, you know, y'all know where my mind goes, honey. You got to go deep with shit. But I think it's something more to it. I think it's something more to it because this is not their first rodeo. Um, it looks like this is an adventure that they've been promoting and people have gone down there. So why now are they not able to come back up? I'm just saying. So on top of that, um, yeah, I, I feel like aliens are down there. From everything I've researched, I don't feel like aliens are in the sky. I feel like they're down in the ocean. There's a lot of things that go down in the ocean, the marine kingdom. Even when you watch, remember um, the Wakanda movie, Black Panther 2? Remember that whole kingdom down there, right? The whole kingdom down there. Remember they had alien technology. They had their technology with vibranium was just as strong as the technology that the Wakandians had. So, you know, a lot of these movies, honey, yeah, Mommy Water, a lot of these movies are just not movies. Think about Little Mermaid. I spoke about this when I talked about the Marine Kingdom. Think about Little Mermaid. That whole story comes from Africa. The whole um, mermaid is Mommy Water. You know, Haiti in the Caribbean, they have the same stories. You know, there's whole kingdoms under the sea. But let me go ahead and shut up. Anyhow, um, so now to like modern day bullshit, Cardi B and the billionaire son are going back and forth on Twitter. Um, they got into it and the billionaire son also clapped back at Cardi B. Hold on, wrong one. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and play you guys what Cardi had to say. This is what started all the drama here. Hold on, let me let me share my screen. Okay, here we go. 
This thing behind her looks so gross. Billionaires that's missing on the on the water from that submarine shit. One of the billionaires, their stepson, is at a concert, right? At a Blink 182 concert. And people is like, um, well, what is he supposed to do? Be sad at the house? Is he supposed to go look for himself? Yes. You're supposed to be at the house sad. You're supposed to be crying for me. You're supposed to be right next to the phone waiting to hear any updates about me. You're supposed to be uh, counseling your mom and shit. Like, isn't it sad that you a whole fucking billionaire and nobody gives a fuck about you? Like, like you missing and motherfuckers is ready to shake dicks at concert. That's crazy. I'd rather be broke. I'd rather be broke than like and poor, but knowing that I'm love. Billionaires that's missing under on the Okay. Let me see if they have okay. So this is the guy. His name is Brian. He says at I am Cardi B, what a piece of shit, trashy celeb Cardi B trying to get clout off of me and my family's suffering. I went to a Blink 182 concert for coping rather than sitting at home and watching the news. Shame on you, Cardi. Get some class. Cardi B, we all know your latest releases are trash, but is your career this desperate for attention now? So that is what the billionaire son had to say. And then Cardi B, clap back. Let me pull up. Hold on. I had a screenshot. Now, I don't know what's up, uh, but I can't go on Neighborhood Talk, honey. I guess they blocked me, and I don't know why, because I I don't go on there like that. I've never said anything about that dude that runs it, but my blogger has to, like, get me screenshots from their site, because when I go on there, it says page not available, so they blocked me for some reason. Not that I give a fuck, but just letting that be known. So this is why I have a screenshot and I'm not on their Instagram page. So we could still get the tea, bitch. Here we go. So our neighborhood talk that I cannot go on for whatever reason. Uh, she wrote this. She says the point was the whole world is praying for these people in submarines. And this man's son is online shaking dicks for girls off of OnlyFans and going to a Blink 182 concert. You was looking for clout all along. Nobody knew who you were until you said that was your stepdad. This is why people hate you spoiled brat billionaires. Y'all so desensitized. So that's, I guess she must have wrote that in the comment section or something. Now, I will say this. I think, you know, at the end of the day, you know, if he wants to go to a Blink-182 concert, that is his business. There's nothing he can do for his stepfather sitting at home, sad, depressed. You know, sometimes you need a break. You know, sometimes you need to clear your mind. Um, you know, so if he felt the need to go off and, you know, go to a concert, it's not like the concert was like three days long. It was for what, an hour or two? By that logic, he shouldn't go to the grocery store. He shouldn't watch television. He shouldn't go onto Twitter. People are still gonna live their regular life during tragedies. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I think that, yeah, I don't I don't see anything wrong with him going to a concert. Yeah, I don't know this billionaire. If y'all want to not live your life because there's billionaires under the sea, then you're more than welcome to sit at home and just, you know, pray and meditate for them all day. I'm not. I'll send them a prayer. I hope, you know, everything goes good. I hope they get fine. But guess what? I'm going to still be unpacking all this stuff and rearranging my house. Life still goes on, you know, so... I don't know. I don't, I don't agree with that. I feel like at the end of the day, if he wanted to clear his mind and go to a concert and think about it, I'm sure he bought them tickets in advance. A, a lot of y'all will, you know what I'm saying? Things can pop up, funerals and everything else. And if y'all spend y'all's money, y'all going to go to where y'all spend y'all's money. You know, so people have missed, you know, people have missed things for less. Let's just say that. So, yeah, I don't agree. I don't agree with her on that. You know what I'm saying? That's my opinion. I don't agree. I think he has the right if he doesn't want to sit at home and he wants to go to a only, you know, to a Blink-182 concert, that's his business. If he wants to sit his ass on OnlyFans, that's his business. That doesn't mean that he doesn't care about his stepfather. That doesn't mean that, you know, um, he's not worried. He's not concerned. 
I think we can't start regulating how people show their emotions, right? That's the same thing people were saying with DC Young Fly. Oh, he's not sad enough. He's joking. He's that. People are going to handle things in different ways. You know, it's not like the man is dead yet. We don't know. They might be found tonight. Who knows? But yeah, I think that him going out there, I don't see the big deal. Because again, people are still going to live their life. Even when you have missing people, right? Somebody's missing their family member. They, they're, they can't find their loved one. And there's like missing search parties. Yeah, you may go search for your family member. But after a while, you got to come home and eat. You got to come home and shower. You know, you could have a sick baby in the NICU. Eventually, you got to leave the NICU and trust your baby with the nurses. Go home, shower. You know, there's been times I've had to deal with that. You know, while I've been sick, people have to leave. Or I've had to go see family members who are sick. I'll be there for the time being. But guess what? I still got to live my life. I still got to come on here and do a live stream. I still got to edit. You know, so I don't think two things match up. I think he can still be sad. He can still be, you know, praying for his father and he can still rock out at a Blink-182 concert for an hour. So just my opinion. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.